Hello, I am Girish Kishnani. And you are watching, 5 Minute Learnings. This is the fifth video in the series on intelligence, today we shall learn about fluid and crystallized intelligence, psychologist Raymond B. Cattell along with his student John Horn, first introduced this theory in 1943. The theory is based on the idea that intelligence is a combination of two types of abilities that work together throughout a person's life, fluid intelligence, GF, the ability to solve new problems using reasoning. This is related to skills like comprehension, problem solving, and learning. Crystallized intelligence, GC, the ability to use previously learned knowledge to solve problems. This is based on knowledge gained through experience. Cattell's theory was based on evidence from developmental and factor analytic studies, as well as school achievement and biological and genetic evidence. Cattell believed that fluid intelligence is more important in childhood, while crystallized intelligence is more important in adulthood. Cattell defined fluid intelligence as the ability to perceive relationships independent of previous specific practice or instruction, in layman words it means thinking on feet, it is crucial when encountering new problems that cannot be solved with existing knowledge. Examples of fluid intelligence include, developing problem-solving strategies, interpreting statistics, philosophical reasoning, solving puzzles or abstract problems. Crystallized intelligence involves knowledge gained from prior learning and past experience. It encompasses all the facts, figures, and accumulated knowledge acquired over a lifetime that you can recall and use as needed. Examples of crystallized intelligence include memorizing text and vocabulary, recalling learned skills, remembering dates and locations. Fluid and crystallized intelligence serve different purposes but are interrelated. Fluid intelligence involves the ability to reason and handle complex information in real time, while crystallized intelligence involves knowledge and skills acquired over time. Both are aspects of what Spearman referred to as general intelligence or G-factor. Fluid intelligence peaks in early adulthood but may reach its apex as late as age 40. Crystallized intelligence, on the other hand, typically peaks around age 60 or 70. Fluid intelligence tends to decline gradually after its peak, whereas crystallized intelligence continues to grow through adulthood. Intelligence testing, including IQ tests, often measures aspects of both fluid and crystallized intelligence. Though these tests can be biased and may not fully capture a person's abilities. Common tests for fluid intelligence include, Raven's Progressive Matrices Test, RPM a nonverbal test assessing pattern completion, Woodcock-Johnson Test of Cognitive Abilities, measures cognitive skills and achievement, Wexler Intelligence Scale for Children, assesses verbal, reasoning, and memory skills in children. Crystallized intelligence is usually measured using the following tests. Vocabulary and General Knowledge Tests, Wexler Adult Intelligence Scale, measures various cognitive abilities in adults. Improving fluid and crystallized intelligence, recent research suggests that aspects of fluid intelligence, such as processing speed, can be improved through brain training. Cognitive training enhances reasoning and problem-solving skills beyond previously acquired knowledge, Crystallized intelligence can be improved through continued learning and accumulating knowledge. Engaging in new experiences and learning activities can enhance both types of intelligence. Both fluid and crystallized intelligences are important in daily life. For example, solving a psychology exam question might require fluid intelligence to strategize and crystallized intelligence to recall specific formulas. Fluid intelligence helps transfer information into long-term memory, which then becomes part of crystallized intelligence. To enhance intelligence, seek out new challenges and avoid sticking to routine. Engage in activities that stimulate your brain, such as learning a new language, taking up a musical instrument, or exploring new cultures. These activities help keep your brain engaged and continuously learning. That's all on the fluid and crystallized intelligence from my side, in the next video we will learn about emotional intelligence. Hope you found this video useful, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, 5 Minute Learnings. And do remember to hit the bell icon, to get notified of the new videos, thanks for watching.